So, here's my parrot, Bobby. He's nine years old, and he loves his special salted sunflower seeds from Poland. They're one of the best, and they don't sell them anywhere except for in Calgary. So, a couple years ago, I bought six bags of them. I still have one or two left. Is he going to go for the radish? I don't know. All animals like salt. I've even known of a few people that went out into the field. A few human beings that lick, licked salt blocks out of the field. Anyways, I bought some juice here. I just went to North Hill Mall. I just got back. And I got four juices. He drank all of his orange juice. I don't know why he likes orange juice, because he doesn't touch oranges. Who knew? And I got this hologram of Marilyn Monroe at Treasures, just to match my other ones in, in the bathroom. Why not? Three times a charm. It wasn't that much money, $15 or something. So, so I just put it next to these ones. I put it next to these ones and uh, yeah you just walk across the room and they change they change your point of view whatever you only live twice and uh, um, Hey, for $15, why not? Just put it with these ones. And I bought myself a new ring today. <clears throat> I like silver. Everything has to be silver. I bought that one in Hawaii after I divorced. I got that one in Mexico a couple years ago. Uh, Mother of Pearl or something. And then I got... This one that kind of looked like sapphire, and this one that was yellow like topaz. So I thought, what happens when you mix blue and yellow together? You get green. There you go. I'm a size 12. Yeah. It's tight, but I know I won't be losing it. So, uh, these juices... I don't know what Bobby's going to go for. You pick a juice. I know you like mango. I know you like apple. Tropical. They're all basically the same. They, they have the same amount of vitamin C and potassium. A little bit of calcium. They're all equally healthy. Right? Ooh. He thinks I'm going to put him back in his cage. Okay, you pick, you pick a juice. Come on, you gotta pick, 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 pick a juice, huh, so yeah, I went to the dollar store and I got some soup, because soup is easy to prepare, I don't know about these Keurig things, I hardly ever drink coffee, and coffee was left behind here, but, well, once in a while, I don't mind coffee. And then I got some drink crystals, and they have lots of vitamin C. And I got all these soups at the dollar store. And uh, about to chop up some radishes. And then I got pitaya here, which is uh, dragon fruit. And some chilies I'm experimenting with. And I got three candles at the dollar store. Just like my rings, blue, yellow, and green. Cheap. And a Valentine's card for a friend. And uh, outside, Bobby, are you clipped? Are you clipped? I don't know if I should venture out here. Look at this, it's all slush. People are fishtailing everywhere. I just saw a 1985 Trans Am at Bry's Automotive. I talked to him, and wow, he did a good job. He really fixed it up.
And he's... Uh, guess who's back in town. Mm. I get along with 90% of the people here, but this guy is weird. What the hell? That's not him. That's another red truck. Who is this woman? Some people say I'm stalking them because they see my vehicle parked out front of them. You know how many vehicles look like mine? There's a lot of vehicles that look like mine. Don't assume, people. Nope. And sometimes it doesn't pay to be nice. So I think I'm going to have a seance here tonight with my three candles, with my mom's obituary and her last message to me. Hey, mom, help me win. The lottery. So, you haven't made your choice yet. Tropical? You want the tropical one? He drank this whole thing of orange juice yesterday. But he doesn't like oranges. All right, is that your final choice, the tropical? All right. Hey, you, Bobby. <whistles> hey, you. Pretty bird. He doesn't like to talk when he's on camera. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> oh, one more thing to document on this video. We've had more snow here in the last month than we've ever had. It's a new record. We got more snow in one night. We got nine inches in one night, which matched the normal for the entire month. I shoveled this just yesterday. And we got another six inches. And look at this. Look at that. I didn't bother brushing off the roof of my car, but I'm getting a slight fogging on my lenses on the front of my vehicle and talked to two different places this morning I can't even open up my garbage cans yet right pray to the universe give us your offerings Wow Look at how much snow we've had. I've never seen it like this. Nobody in Kamloops. Is, this is supposed to be desert. The world is changing. So there's my apricot tree. I got 2,000 apricots off it last year. And I just planted a, a, a peach tree. I planted that peach tree in August. And the deer haven't eaten it yet. But I got a deer fence constructed and a birdhouse. Yeah. There's a lot of nomads in the world. They just go in and out of all these different places. <clears throat> that guy with that Trans Am this morning, he told me, and it looked brand new almost, he did a really good job, good auto body work with pop-up headlights and uh, gull wing doors or whatever he had 1985 and he's driving in summer tires i said why would you drive in summer tires 
but they're almost brand new with good tread. He says, because I watch how I drive. I got, I don't have all season. I have one upgrade. I have all weather tires. They're not like winter tires. I've never had to use winter tires. Unless you come from Ontario or Quebec, you don't need winter tires. But these are better than all season. They're only a year and a half old or something. And, uh, God, first time I had to bring out the shovel was two days ago. And look at it now. We had a wind chill here of about minus 40. We had a wind chill here about minus 40 a few days ago. Today, it's nice. It's plus two. So, yeah, anyways, um, where are you, Bobby? Oh, don't you dare attack my buttons. He likes to rip out computer buttons or any kind of buttons. Yeah, yeah, you're a silly bird. You like to rip out buttons. Get away from the modem. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, one more thing, my uh, Uncle Paul, he was like my dad's second father, he made this, he used to make things out of wood, um, uh, alright, let's prop it up here on this candle, I'll be lighting later tonight. I thought this was funny. All right. It's called a bullshit grinder. And it's all made out of wood. And you just crank it around. And it gets you nowhere. You just go around in circles. It's called a bullshit grinder. And you just crank it. What does it do? Nothing. That's me. Capricorn. I don't believe in astrology at all. Everybody is so paranoid and superstitious. Ladders and numbers and numerology and all that stuff. It doesn't mean anything to me. I'm interested in astronomy. I'm interested in astronomy and exploring and traveling the world. That's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in artwork. Some aren't. I'm interested in collecting sand from all over the world. I'm interested in paintings. I'm interested in the artwork that my grandparents did for me. I'm interested in traveling over the world on the International Space Station. I'm interested in seeing a total solar eclipse of the sun in Idaho. Yes, I parked in this farmer's field and saw the total eclipse of the sun. It took me two days to get there. You gotta be there in person. Um, I'm interested in grain. I'm interested in farming. I'm interested in flowers. My grandfather grew up on a farm. I did this painting for him from southern Alberta, Canada, and I got it back when he died. I even took all my painting equipment up the top of Sunshine Mountain when I was in my 20s. Three kilometers up the hill with Jim Reynolds. Oh, could I do that now? No. Um, I'm interested in astronomy. I'm not interested in astrology. I love Mother Earth. And I will stay here for as long as I can. I just turned 60 two days ago. Yeah, Jim, happy birthday.